Hello friends, welcome to Crackgate CSE. And in this series of algorithm, we have discussed the quadratic grouping, and now we will be discussing double hashing. So before starting this particular video, I would love to request you all, if you have not subscribed the channel, please subscribe the channel and press the bell icon also, right? And in the end of the video, if you found this particular video useful, like this video, share it with your friends, and don't forget to mention your comments or feedback in the comment box so that I can improve the quality for you all, right? So now start with the double hashing. So what is double hashing? What is the meaning of double hashing? Double hashing means we will be having two hash function. This double indicates two and hashing means we will be having two hash functions. So if we are probing in a, a, such a way that where we are using two different hash functions to check for the next available slot. What is probing? Probing is nothing but checking the next free slot so that we can map or enter a particular key value into the hash table. So in double hashing we will be probing on the basis of two different functions and will be storing the values accordingly right so this is the main concept or the idea behind introducing the double hashing so let's try to understand this with the help of one example here i took an example where m is equals to 10 that is 0 to 9 i took a hash table of size m the collision resolution technique is mentioned as double hash this will be given in the question this is one function h1 and this is second function h2 so we are having two hash functions these are the keys and it is given that double hashing for double hashing we are having a particular formula so this is the formula in which we will be using all of these two hash functions and computing the uh, values for the next available slot right so let's start with the first one so you already know this formula h1 is the first function s2 is the second function this i is nothing but a variable variable whose value which be lying between 0 to m minus 1 and mod m m is already given right so first we will be finding for 25 comma 0 so if i find it from 25 comma 0 first go to the first function 25 mod 10 will be 5 i value is 0 so this will be 0 no need to compute it so we will be getting 5 that means we will be storing at fifth place so 25 will be here no collision right Similarly, go to the second key which is 80, check for the 80, 80 key, 80 mod 10, 0 and i is 0 so it is 0 also. So this is 0, no collision, 80 will be stored at the 0th place. Now I am having 95, 95 mod m is 5 i is 0 that means it is resulting in 5 that means there is a collision because we are already having 25 at the fifth place so now we will be incrementing the value of i so we incremented the value of i from 0 to 1 right now again we are finding the same thing 95 mod m is 5 no need no need to change anything now come here h2 of key so i is 1 that means we have to multiply this with 1 so no issues h2k what is h2 1 plus so we have 1 is here key mod m minus 2 so what is the key 95 95 mod m minus 2 is 8 so 95 mod at 8 will give you the remainder as 7 so this 7 plus 1 8 8 plus 5 is 13 so 13 mod 10 is 3 so we can store at the third place so 95 will be here so how many collisions over here one collision right similarly check for the next value that is 50 50 if you compute 50 comma 0 will be getting 0 so we have to use this formula again and again for all the key values and in if there is any collision we will be computing it again by incrementing the value of i so 50 comma 0 will be 0 that means there is a collision 50 comma 1 is 3 that means again a collision because we are having it at 95 50 comma 2 50 comma 2 50 mod m is 0 now instead of i i am having 2 in bracket we have to compute this 1 plus what is 50 mod 8 so 50 mod 8 is 2 because 2 will be the remainder so what is it 3 into 2 is 6 so 6 mod 10 is 6 so we can store the 50 at 6th place so here how many collisions for 50 2 collisions now go to 23 for 23 23 comma 0 is 3 that means a collision and 23 comma 1 is 1 that means no collision so here I am having one collision for 23 and this 23 will be stored at this first place right now come on to the 77 77 comma 0 is 
सेवन विच इज़ अवेलेबल सो सेवेंटी सेवन विल बी स्टोर्ड हेयर नो कोलिजन फॉर सेवेंटी सेवन नो फॉर एटी फाइव एटी फाइव कोमा जीरो इज फाइव विच इज़ अ कोलिजन राइट एटी फाइव कोमा वन इज़ वन दिस इज अगेन अ कोलिजन एटी फाइव कोमा टू इज सेवन अगेन अ कोलिजन एटी फाइव कोमा थ्री इज थ्री अगेन कोलिजन एटी फाइव कोम फोर इज नाइन सो इट इज़ अवेलेबल सो नाउ देर इज नो कोलिजन सो एटी फाइव सो हाउ मैनी कोलिजन फॉर एटी फाइव वन कोलिजन टू थ्री एंड फोर सो टोटल फोर कोलिजन फॉर एटी फाइव नाउ विल कम ऑन टू ट्वेंटी सो इफ यू चेक फॉर ट्वेंटी विल बी गेटिंग ऑल दीज टेन कोलिजन बिकॉज ट्वेंटी विल नॉट मेक इट टू दी हैज टू विल विल नॉट बी गेटिंग एनी एम टी स्लॉट इफ यू यूज दीज टू फंक्शन अलॉन्ग विद फॉर्मूला सो इफ यू फाइंड आउट ट्वेंटी कमा जीरो इट विल बी जीरो ट्वेंटी कमा वन इट विल बी फाइव एंड अगेन इट विल बी रिपीटिंग द वैल्यू जीरो फाइव जीरो फाइव जीरो फाइव एंड सो ऑन सो टेन कोलिजन फॉर दिस ट्वेंटी सिमिलरली इफ यू ट्राई टू एंड टू दिस नाइन्टी सेवन अगेन यू विल बी गेटिंग द टेन कोलिजन बिकॉज दिस नाइन्टी सेवन विल ऑल्सो नॉट बी एबल टू मेक इन टू दिस पर्टिकुलर हेज टेबल सो दे कैन आस्क विच ऑफ दीज कीज आर नॉट एबल टू बी स्टोर्ड इन दैश फंक्शन देन यू कैन answer 20 and 97 and if they are asking how many collisions are there then you can see 10 plus 10 20 24 and total 28 collisions so you can say that there will be total 28 collisions if you try to store the values using the double hashing right and the all the theories will be same because in double hashing we are uh, hash uh, Uh, probing on the basis of the, the hash function here we are not wasting any space outside in the form of linked list in the, as we are doing in chaining here also the searching insertion and deletion time is order of and in the worst case and here also we can delete a particular function and at if we are deleting a particular key value then we have to use some special function or the special symbol Like hash, so a dollar. So we'll be storing this particular symbol, special symbol, if we are deleting. And if there are more symbols, more special symbols in the table, then we can rehash it again so that there will be no such issues in searching, and there will be efficiency in this particular hashing, right? Now in the next video, we'll be discussing that what are the primary clustering, what is secondary clustering. they are they both are the problems of linear uh, hashing and so linear probing and uh, what is the second one quadratic probing so we'll be discussing that what are the advantages what are the disadvantages how we can resolve it and what are the different theory concept and the numerical kind of concept in those two right so in the next video we'll be discussing those things only after that we'll be giving an idea that how we can find out a perfect hashing and what is the time how we can achieve the order of one time complexity because this is our ultimate goal of hashing right so thank you very much for your time thank you very much for watching and in case if you are having any query any doubt i will give you the link of my facebook page and facebook group in the description so that you can ask your query over facebook right so thank you for uh, thank you very much for watching keep supporting keep learning have a great day